looking good. So now we're getting ready to drop the trailer coupler onto the wall. What is up guys, Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. Today we are doing a safety upgrade. Today we're gonna to be installing an Anderson weight distribution hitch. Our 2022 Grand Design, what is it? Imagine 2910 BH has been towing quite well without a weight distribution hitch. But to make it a little bit safer, we're gonna install that today and it should be a solid upgrade. So we are really excited to get this hitch. Just as an added safety feature. Uh, this is a, what is it, 34 feet overall? Our trailer is 34 feet overall um, and it sways just a little bit, uh, not too much, but we haven't really hit any high winds yet. So this will just be like a nice little upgrade to help keep us safe on the road. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna disconnect your trailer and get the trailer completely level. That is step number one. All right, so now that the trailer is completely level front to back, that is the key. We're gonna go ahead and remove our standard ball and receiver and add the Anderson ball and receiver. We just loosely installed our ball onto our receiver and then we're gonna back up the truck and check a few different measurements to get the right height set. So you gotta make sure you measure your bumper. You're gonna do the best you can with the ground that you're on. We're gonna call it 37 and one quarter. To the top of the bumper. To the top of the bumper. Because then when you set the trailer on and you start to adjust everything, you're gonna need that measurement. All right guys, so what you wanna do according to the instructions is you wanna measure from the top of your ball down to here and you want roughly an inch and a half we're about an inch and three quarters because our truck has a little lift in the back. I think it'll be totally fine. And then I believe the next step is hitching up. Is that correct? Yep. We had to lower the ball all the way. Couple it. Right. And now we're raising it back up so that we can put these bolts into place and screw them into place. Yeah. It says you almost want no weight on this when you tighten it up, but they wanted you to couple it first. Yeah. So you basically just have it to where I can move this piece just a little bit. And then now we're going to go ahead and put the nuts on. So we just learned the hard way. Uh, this is not the bolt, that, the bolts that you want in there. These are the bolts that go in the hitch receiver Idiots. area. <laughs> so these, these uh, short fat guys, not the long skinny ones. So now we have to switch those out. So Jesse just went to go get an inch and an eighth socket and wrench to uh, tighten these bolts up to then squeeze the sides of the adjustable rack onto the ball housing itself. Just ensure a nice tight fit. What did basically, you say? basically take your dad's super old ghetto torque wrench and just before you think it's gonna break, just stop. <laughs> Seems legit. 150 foot pounds is really tight. <sighs> you have to be really strong to install this. All right guys, so you're gonna take your pin and they're calling this their tension plate. You can put this on here, and then I would say go ahead and go with it this way, so then you can always see easily if you're on the driver's side that you have your pin in and everything is lining up correctly. Then it says look at a bird's eye view of the tension plate to make, ah! <laughs> to make sure that the tension plate is close to perpendicular to the trailer frame. It even has a nice little diagram, look at that. I want that lower plate to be perpendicular. It does say it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it as close as possible. We're happy with this. We're going to run it. it. Says with your trailer coupler locked and secured to the ball, extend your jack and raise the trailer an inch or two above the bumper height measurement. Leave the trailer in this raised position while you continue with the following steps, uh, attaching chain shackles, hand tightening, bow shackle pins, blah, blah, blah. What are we doing now? So now that we have it coupled and everything is set up here, we're gonna use our measurement that we had before, but we're gonna raise the truck an inch or two above our previous measurement, which was 37 and a quarter. 
So what we're doing is you're, you're essentially preloading it and this is going to help with the weight distribution. We're going up, we got a ways to go. 37 and a quarter. So we're going to want to go higher than that. 38, 38 and three quarters. So that'd be an inch and a half. We're going we're gonna to go with that. Okay, perfect, right in the middle, this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're going to want to take your chains. These are, so with the Anderson hitch, these chains replace your solid rod bars on your typical standard weight distribution hitch. So you have a nice lightweight chain instead of a super heavy steel bar. So we're gonna attach these. We're gonna use these little couplers and they say that they want them this direction and they say just to do them hand tight. Hand tight, firm, firmly. Okay, sweet. So now we're measuring where we're gonna mount the opposite end of where our chains are gonna connect. So the chains are gonna basically go through here. They say that they want 28 to 29 inches from the ball. So we're looking here. So we're gonna basically be right about there. And we're gonna do that on both sides and we're gonna nut and bolt these brackets on right there. Easy cheesy. We got the chains relatively tight on both sides with about our one thread showing here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten these bolts up. It doesn't give us a spec. We're gonna do a German spec. We're just gonna do a good and tight. Okay, so before you tighten these bolts all the way, you wanna make sure that this bracket is tilted, angled slightly so that this part is completely perpendicular with your frame. So that parallel. The, uh, yeah, so parallel, So this my bottom bad. part parallel. is parallel with your frame. <laughs> And then, so this top part will be slightly at an angle. So we're tightening up our chains hand tight with the provided socket. Basically what that's doing is it's pulling on our bracket here. And so we're getting them as close as we can, even on both sides. Now we're gonna install our set screws. They're 5 16 Allen's. You're gonna wanna run them in. Basically there is a threaded slot on one of your brackets. You wanna make sure that these are pretty tight. So you do them by hand and then they're saying you want to go. And then one and a half to two more full rotations. Okay. So that would be a quarter, a half, quarter, half is one. And then now they're saying another half. That's a quarter. It's kind of hard to do when I'm filming. And we need one more quarter. So that's really tight. So what it is, is basically a little chingadera just poked into the frame so this bracket can't slide. Because once you start putting tension on the chains, you don't want this thing sliding. All right, so we did these hand tight. Now, our final thing that we're gonna do is we are going to tighten these down with the provided chingadera. They give you a socket. I believe it's inch and a quarter. So you wanna tighten it down until this spring starts to get some tension in it and it'll be curved a little bit. They said about three to four more threads. What we're doing is we're creating the tension. I just felt it get kind of tight. You can see that. You can see it the curving. The start to curve, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that does look about three or four more threads, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna go do the same on the other side. Now, this chain is super tight. Okay, we just completed the very last step of installation, um, forking the chains completely tight and now we're gonna raise up the jack and hopefully if we did everything correctly it's gonna be nice and level from the front of the truck to the back of the trailer ours Let's might not be perfect because our truck was lifted a little bit higher remember we said that in the very beginning when we were measuring for the ball and the bumper so it might be slightly off but it should be close it's definitely looking good looking good that's it how does it look level I think it looks good. You want to come back here and take a look? Overall, I'm very happy. The trailer is extremely level, but what I don't like is it looks like the truck is down a little bit in the back. But you got to remember, I guessed, I guessed on what air I took out of my airbags. So I can always just throw another 10, 15 PSI in there. It'll be pretty level. The trailer will be level and then the truck will be a little level too in the back. It's slightly low. <laughs>